Any notable damage to brain matter in most galactic species would always guarantee functional demise. If upon creation any of the cortex is dysfunctional or to any notable degree, the newly formed being would be a vegetable. What was done to this creature varied from species to species and culture to culture. Some simply did away with them immediately, left them for dead, or if they were more morally attuned, then the organism will have its needs alleviated for the rest of its likely short life. Humans are a major exception. We met up with a freelance human vessel to provide a medical checkup for the crew on board who had just entered an extremely infected part of space for a bounty mission. Apparently someone wanted an oddly specific piece of salvage from the lost systems in the middle core. People who arrived from there had to undergo a very strict quarantine, and these humans, along with their ship, were sectioned off into an isolated facility made for such purposes. The disease that affects what has now been called the Lost Systems, located in the middle core of the galaxy, is a creature that feeds on intelligent life. This disease is classified as an A1 nanovirus, its origins are unknown, and likely to stay that way given the circumstances. The virus is small enough to embed itself deep within the victim's head, attaching to each individual neuron in the brain controlling the flow of stimulus for each one. Cases of advancing beyond the brain is rare, and even then doesn't expand beyond the primary nervous system. Once in control of the mind, the disease indentures the life form into complete servitude, utilizing the entirety of the life form's knowledge and experience to figure out means of spreading the disease further, then using the victim's body to accomplish those means. The only way to check for the disease was to do a complete brain scan which checks the health of every single neuron in the brain. We did not find evidence of the disease on the ship of humans, but we did find was astonishing. One of the humans' brains detected a serious deterioration to their prefrontal cortex. Damage to this sector of the brain should mean that they are incapable of rational decision making and have no control over their impulses. Once informed of their severe condition of their mind, the human calmly stated that they were already aware and had it under control. Behavioural difficulties were caught with this individual from an early age and scans on his homeworld proved the condition. Apparently human society is capable of effectively integrating people with severe prefrontal cortex damage back to human society, thanks to the human brain's adaptability. These brain scans showed significant increases in neural strength in other areas of the brain, which coincides with the human describing their experience with specialist training at a very young age to combat their lack of function. The brain's ability to utilize completely different sections of their brain for purposes other than their original intent is an astonishing and unique trait that only creatures from their planet seem to share. Although I'm informed that the brain is unable to perfectly fix the brain's function, and the ability to do so can vary in effectiveness greatly. In the example of this human, they are capable to function with society to an acceptable degree, but still struggle at times with impulse control. Apparently, they join their current highly deadly mission on a complete whim. Nevertheless, the function of Terran brain biology is a subject that I have renewed a keen interest for and am considering moving to a station to study it more closely. I have been informed of opportunities at Earth educational institutions called universities, which exist throughout the death world, and may see if I can join one.